I might look like I'm doing okay, but deep down I don't even remember any of my passwords. Instagram last night in case you don't follow me I read a romance novel on my stories if that's not a cry for hell all right Dollar Tree haul time I'm very excited the last couple of videos have been um, me piling the Christmas 2020 items that I've hauled so far into two videos where I showed you guys the collection all together. So this is the first haul in, in my mind that I'm back with new stuff that I haven't shown you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. And I think at the end of this video, we're gonna do a DIY. So stick around for that too. Okay, um, speaking of my Instagram, which is always linked down below in the description box in case you wanna follow me over there. Um, I, that is my, actually, that's my main platform that I communicate the most with you guys. So it's just my number one preferred social media outlet. So just FYI. On there, I asked you guys if any of you had been seeing the paper plate napkin collection for Christmas at Dollar Tree. And I was kind of surprised by the result. It was almost like 50-50 down the middle. Some of you have seen them at your stores and some of you haven't. I have not until I went earlier this morning and they hadn't even fully put them out yet, but so far it's uh, it's a repeat. I have to say, I was kind of expecting new sets this year, new prints, but it is a repeat. I remember these specifically. Here is the snowflake and then here is a beautiful traditional Christmas print. The next thing is a new storage container and it is by this brand called Sure Fresh, which is sold at Dollar Tree. These are all a dollar. And they have different sizes and they all come with this blue lid. I actually buy a few of these and I use them as craft room storage containers, not anything for the kitchen. But if you do use it for the kitchen, it's microwave safe, freezer safe, a top rack dishwasher safe, and it's BPA free. And all of those are amazing because there are some things at Dollar Tree that will melt and get ruined in the dishwasher. So this is really great and it's reusable. Um, supposed to have a pretty decent, you know, secure lid to it. But like I mentioned, I use these in my craft room and like organize all of my goodies. But the reason why I'm showing you this one is because it's a new size. I've never seen this one. Usually they're, 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 longer rather than they're more horizontal rather than vertical space so i just thought it was really awesome and i wanted to show you guys that i found that and here is the item in which we are going to see the diy at the end of this video and it's gonna i hope it's gonna end up being really really cute also very simple i think and it's just a square cake pan i actually hauled another one of these a couple months ago and it was for the same thing um, but it was actually like a longer cake pan and when I had hauled that in my video I knew in the back of my mind that I was going to do this DIY However, when I was at Dollar Tree this morning I decided that the square one I thought would be a lot cuter Not too long ago I showed you guys a new lip balm set that had that Christmassy vibe to it I found another one and this one is definitely gonna go I'm gonna put it in my own stocking like listen but look how cute this is. It is a berry flavor and I love the packaging. And then on the inside, there is a girly plaid. Like I am here for that. I absolutely love the packaging details. Would look great in the gift basket as well. Um, even if you do like a, like a mason jar thing, you know, where maybe you do like nail polishes, some of these little lip balms, some cotton balls, like a little spa-like mason jar gift, tie a cute little bow to match the packaging, and it would look pretty darling as a little gift. So, love that. A new item that I found by the brand Sassy and Chic. 
So if you're not familiar with brands at Dollar Tree, Sassy and Chic has been a, it's, I think it's Dollar Tree owned. And this is a black, char it's a charcoal blender makeup sponge in black and I think it's so chic. And I love the packaging too. Um, no idea the quality, you know, of the sponge, but um, I'm definitely going to try this out. I'm going to put this in my stocking as well. I will be doing a video on what I'm going to be putting in my stocking and like my daughter's stocking and my niece's stocking. So stick around for that. And also in case you're new to my channel, I also do a video called what I want for Christmas. It's just for fun. And it's just a list of things. Um, you know, PETA makes the list every time, right? But that is coming for 2022. Okay. So then I found these new uh, products here by this brand called Beauty Guru. And I can't tell. Yeah, this is not labeled with Dollar Tree's label on the back. This one is an under eye roller. And it's an under eye serum with sea buckthorn with a roll on applicator. And um, there's that. Then we have this one, which is a facial brightener. So it's a bright skin serum. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and open one of these at least and see what, oh, okay. And then I found these facial masks that I thought were great. Also thought of stocking stuffers for these. Also would be great as a um, item in a gift package and basket. And also when I mentioned that mason jar idea you can easy, easily bend these tuck it into the back of the mason jar put you know some more spa products and it would be just adorable let me know if you want me to do a gift basket like that in my video and show you guys what it would look like put together just thumbs up or comment down below and then this one is a sprinkles face mask what i've never seen that so i guess you get sprinkles in here and then this other one was glitter so Okay, then next up, I got this package of ornament garlands, and I actually got this for a DIY, so hopefully that's coming soon, and let's see, let's get into actually some food items, because I did make a trip down that aisle, and I found this new brownie mix that says it's a brittle mix brownie by Betty Crocker. So I guess not as thick or fudgy like a cake. And I'm definitely going to try this out. Also, I think the packaging is beautiful. And another gift basket idea for the holidays. You could definitely make a trip into Dollar Tree and get mixing spoons and bowls and all of that. Do an oven mitt pot holders concept. And then you've got a really cute gift basket. Then I found another Betty Crocker item. Again, for that gift basket idea and it's a little mug treats the kind that you do a little cake you put it in a mug you microwave it for about a minute and it's just one individual serving so keep that in mind if you are going to be doing a gift basket maybe it's a, is it a gift basket for one person for two people so there's that to think about and then the last food item that i found at dollar tree that i've never seen there before and honestly i'm still trying to figure out what this is but as you can see, it's by Duncan Hines that did a collab with Oreo and Chips Ahoy. And unless they're all owned by the same company, I don't even know. Uh, what, what is this supposed to be? You can see that there's the toppings there. And then I don't know if you can see, but it just looks like powder down there. But is it, is it a cake? It is a cake. You add water um, and you stir you put it in the microwave and then you sprinkle with the topping after so i guess it's kind of like those mac and cheese deals that are in the cups you just add the water throw it in the microwave then you add the packet of sauce and voila i guess they're doing a similar concept with these which i think oh so cute for a gift basket then i found this and i definitely had to share this with you guys because it's a new jot product and I am obsessed with Jot. It is my favorite label at Dollar Tree. And they came out with badge holders and a five piece at that. Aluminum foil sheets. And I found a new one at Dollar Tree. I've never picked this one specifically up before. It's a lot longer than the other one that I had. And 
you get 20% more and you get 30 sheets in here. And then let's get into some Christmas items because I found even more stuff, which is insane because if you watch my Christmas collection videos, the part one and part two, there's so much stuff in both of those videos. I'll link them down below in case you wanna see it. Okay, I found the sticker books of the gift tags. I look forward to these all year long and they're just self-adhesive gift tags and they do them in this form where you just kind of flip through it and you get, you know, all of your cute little tags. And I always love seeing what they're going to do and oh, it's so, so darling. I love that you're getting like a mix variety in here and then it looks like you also get um, two sheets of the same print, which is really nice. So you essentially are getting double, which is amazing for a dollar. Honestly, they could have just left it at giving us one sheet per print. They didn't. They gave us two. And then here is the second one. And this one looks like they only did one sheet because you get half the count, 52 count. And I doubt we're getting doubles in this one. And it's probably because this one has glitter, maybe that for whatever reason costs more. I mean, I'm sure it does, it's extra material. But Santa on In the Chimney is adorable. Oh, and Santa reading the list, love it. Love the polar bears, love the gingerbread in these. Oh my gosh, this snowy cabin right here. This one is worth for me picking up another another one and getting doubles. I, I did not look at these. As you can tell, this is like first impressions. All I did was I looked on the cover to make sure I wasn't getting a duplicate and then that was it. I did not look through them. Um, <laughs> that's just sometimes that's how I shop. And oh, this is the one I wanted to show you. Look at the snowman next to the sign. Oh, that one is so cute too. Love that one. So far that one and is my that one's I think is my favorite, which so sad that we didn't get double sheets. The next one here, um, also looking very cute. We've got an adorable polar bear. The candy cane is really darling. And then you get another sheet of traditional, um, which is really pretty. I like some of them. Some of them I'm not really a fan of. I probably wouldn't grab for. Oh my gosh, the next sheet is everything the little gingerbread man with the top hat i didn't know that i needed that in my life until i saw it the deer with his his beanie like what what and then the other deer with the beanie but he has lights all over love it clark griswold moment oh my gosh the next one very very pretty i love the deer and all the bells on him absolutely gorgeous and Santa's looking a little bit more realistic in this set, which I love too. And I love him stepping into the chimney. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have to definitely go back and get doubles of these. And then the next set of um, gift tags look like this. And they are absolutely epic in my opinion for a dollar. Let me show you this stunning blue set first. The snow one right here is probably my favorite. And then Warm Winter Wishes, that is really cute too. Merry and Bright, these are absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I could walk through Walmart, Target, and in my opinion, I wouldn't find anything prettier than this. There's just no way. And it's at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Then you get a traditional set. So I love that we're also getting a variety at Dollar Tree too. The joy with the stripes, I really love. I'm very like attracted to stripes for some reason. And then the plaid is really pretty, happy holidays. Yeah, really, really pretty. And then we get this option, which they kind of messed up because one of them is turned around. So I'm gonna turn it this way so that you can see all the prints, but so cute. Very Santa. Love the snowman. Oh, love it. Love it. 
And then this one was the one that um, caught my attention too. I just love how bold and bright this is. The polka dots, best gift ever, naughty, nice, don't ask. And then you can, naughty, nice, or don't ask, and you can even check off the list too. And then the last one says, no peeking, sniffing, or shaking. I'll find out. That's really funny. But yeah, these gift tags are absolutely beautiful. Then I realized, have I even picked up tissue paper? I mean, you, you guys know I love all anything gift related. It, even if it's not during like Christmas time, I always beeline for the gift aisle first for some reason. I've got to check out the bags, the bows, the tissue paper, the basket fillers, all of those things. And then I wasn't, I have to say, I don't know if my stores just aren't there yet or what the deal is, but their tissue paper game is a little bit non-existent for me um, so far. I'm going to venture to a couple of other stores that I haven't checked out in a while and see what they have going on. Maybe the ones I've been going to just didn't get the same stock for whatever reason. Anyway, these have been around and they're my favorite. The one with the Christmas tree print. Oh, so, so pretty. Absolutely love this tissue paper. So I did get two of those. And then, remember when I remarked in a video not too long ago that I said Dollar Tree stickers have been like on the decline lately, just haven't seen anything new? Oh, they did this one. And it's like an, an update to another like sweets one that they did that I hauled at least 10 of and I still have all of them. And I, I almost got doubles, but I said, whoa, whoa, Put, pump the brakes, I got it for a dollar. Okay, then I found another gift box set. I don't think I got this one, cause I didn't remember this one, but this one's really cute too with the Santa suit on there. So there you go. Anyways, this one's really, really pretty. I love it. And um, I showed you guys a ton of window clings in my last fit, my last Dollar Tree haul, and I found some more, and they're absolutely adorable. All the sweet stuff. I was wondering if I was going to find anything new. And then we have all the mug stuff. A lot of DIY potential here as well. And then this one was my favorite. I just love the color of the gingerbread. It's just... It looks realistic in my opinion. Like I could just rip this off and it's a cookie that I could eat. It's just so good. The mittens. I honestly, I was kind of shook. I didn't expect to see a print like this from Dollar Tree, but there we go. And there's a cute little Yorkie or what kind of dog is this? I don't even know. Um, there's a little deer in motion. I oh, love it. I absolutely love that one. And then I found this one that has a little Christmas Village set, which is actually really cute. And if you were to use this as actual window clings, you could just set up a cute little village, you know, going along the window. So cute. And then you even get the sleigh to kind of go over the top of the town. Love it. And then... Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with gingerbread stuff. I cannot wait to decorate my kitchen. Um, the next decorate video that's coming out is going to be my living room. And um, and then following that uh, will be the kitchen. But I'm just, I love gingerbread stuff. It's so cute. And then the little, everything. Everything on this is perfect. All right, that's it for the haul portion. Now we're going to dive into the DIY, but that's it. That's going to be it for me talking in this video. So after this ending, again, it will be the DIY. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
Um, these ornaments are actually from Hobby Lobby and they are a great price. So they're 50% off and some of them end up being pretty close to a dollar. Um, in the end, I decided to go with this gingerbread right here. It is a pack of ornaments from Hobby Lobby for $5. And there's four ornaments in a pack. So it's about almost a dollar to dollar fifty per ornament there in that in that range. Dollar twenty-five, right? So basically I'm just taking hot glue, putting the ornament in the center, and then you're gonna take the ribbon of your choice and add it to the top. I decided to go with this ribbon because it looks like it has frosted sugar on it, has that checkered gingham look that I think is so beautiful with gingerbread products, and I'm just gonna glue it to the top, and that is the DIY. Incredibly simple, all you need is the ornament of your choice, the ribbon of your choice, hot glue gun, and you're done. And because I decorate in my kitchen and it is a cake pan, it just makes sense. It's so cute. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.